Hello everybody. This is a tutorial and a quick tour of what our project will be. This is our Principles of Design booklet. So each one of you will open up this document in Canvas and then edit it accordingly. So you are going to, this is, you know, you can redesign this however you see fit. And I would like to see some changes in this. Um, things that you can change are the style of the font. You could even change the background color if you don't want to keep yours black. You, you know, you're going to be adding your name here. Things I don't want you to change are the hyperlinks. So this arrow right here. Now let me show you what I mean by a hyperlink. So when you hit present, you will be able to navigate through this. And I've already hyperlinked this entire document. So you can simply click on the arrow to go to the next slide. Now here you have the table of contents. You can, again, edit the way that this looks. And I would like you to change it. Do not keep it at, it, at its basics. There's things if you like, you know, maybe certain fonts that you like, you can keep those. But make them your own. So you have the table of contents. You can change the way that this writing is. You can change how each one of these are. You can add embellishments over here on the sides if you'd like to, but each one is linked to a page. So you can simply click on balance and it will take you to the balance page. If you click the arrow back, it'll take you back to the table of contents. And this is the home button that will take you back to the very first page, the home page. So that's what I mean by hyperlinks. Please do not edit these hyperlinks. Now you can change the colors of these, you know, these little icons in the corner. Um, and you can, if you want to change the uh, style of that, I will, I can show you that. You just need to send me an email and I'll make an additional video. Um, but anyway, what I want you to do is for each one of these principles of design, I want you to create a title. This is the title right here. Again, change the font, all right? Change the way that it looks. Unless you really like this font, keep it. And let me talk to you about design. Usually curve, curvy, fun, exciting fonts are used for titles. So don't use these um, curly Q, these, these cursive writings for when you're actually having to do uh, actual writing, okay? Use those for fun, fancy fonts for your title pages. But you'll be able to, you know, give me a title page for that particular element of our, I'm sorry, principle of design. Then I want you to create uh, or define that principle. You could give me a clear definition. You could write down characteristics, something here. You don't have to keep it in this box that I created. It could be however you want. You can leave it completely implied with no, with no box around it. You are going to be creating an illustration, which is what your sketches were for the sketchbook assignment 1.5. So you're going to actually create your illustration in this space. All right. So you can upload that image. You can create it on um, Google Draw. You can create it on whatever you want to create that on. You could hand draw it, and then we take a photo and upload it onto this document. I'd like you to put your illustration here and then delete this stuff. Okay, we don't need that written there anymore. On the left hand side over in this space, you're going to tell us how your illustration fits that principle. What about that illustration meets the mark for balance or contrast or emphasis? Again, you don't have to have this arrow here. I just simply put that there uh, for you guys. You could cre create a different shape. You don't even have to have a shape. Um, you could create whatever you want and you could decorate this however you see fit. Keeping design in mind. Sometimes a little says a lot. Sometimes a lot says too much. So don't over design the page. Okay. When you want to go crazy with colors and things like that, leave that for your title pages. Now you could do a simple color for, for your written parts. All right, but keep a darker font for that, right? And keep a simple font that's more legible to read for that. Another thing with design is not having too many different fonts. What I mean by that is you could have a simple, like a curvilinear font, a fun font for balance, and then you could have a different one for contrast. 
Okay, so have fun with that. Again, the only thing I really don't want you doing and changing are these hyperlinks because I've already hyperlinked everything. If you add another slide, it's going to change those hyperlinks as well. So simply create something for each one of these. You are going to upload your image over here on the right hand side. Define what that principle is over here on the left. Talk about how your illustration fits that principle and give me a title page. Let's talk about hyperlinking in case you want to change something. So all you're going to do to hyperlink is simply on that shape I'm going to right click it and hit link. Now it's already applied to that link. But let's say we turn that off. Okay, so it says here's the link. I want to add a, a new uh, hyperlink in this slides in presentation. Now I want that home page to go to the first page. So there's all your slides, and these are short, you know, first slide, second slide. Um, I just pick slide one and hit apply. Now I had to do that for each one of these shapes because I created a home what looked like a little house. Okay, so if you're going to have more than one shape on there, each one of those shapes is going to be having to hyperlink to that same one. Now if you look down here on the bottom, I've already kind of given you guys some notes. I'm saying redesign this however you see fit. Do not remove those hyperlink arrows throughout the entire booklet. So you can change the color of the arrow, you can redesign that if you want to put a different shape on there, you can do that. Just make sure that it's hyperlinked. If you don't know how to do that, come back to this video or, or get a hold of me. So on here, I have a to-do list for you and you can, if you want to, delete all this stuff as you go. So on this page, you can change the title, the font, the colors, the way that they look, etc. Okay. You can also add little designs to the page however you see fit. Again, do not remove those hyperlinks. They're set to the correct pages. So if you accidentally delete the word balance, you're going to have to create a hyperlink for it. So let's say that you have accidentally removed that hyperlink from the word. What you can do is go to insert, click on the link, and then you're going to find the slide. Now for balance, balance is our third slide. So what I'm going to do is scroll down here to slide three and hit apply. And now that word has been hyperlinked to that. So each one of these, I want you to create and design how that page goes. For this project, we're going to spend four studio days on that. That means you have two days for, oh, I'm sorry, you can do two principles of design per day. So I just want you to go over here and for each one of these, create and, de and design for that principle of design. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or there's something that you need to know how to do, uh, let me know.